What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna try to post a video once a week. I know, I hope I can do it. Fingers crossed. Um, one of my friends actually gave me the idea to do a Marriage Monday series. I do have a lot of um, pre-recorded stuff that we've been doing, like cake tasting, me trying on wedding dresses. So I'm gonna try to get one of those up every Monday. And then me and Kyle actually a month ago tried to do a low carb diet and it worked really well for us. Um, the past couple of weeks we haven't been doing it though and so now we're ready to get back on track. We have just a little bit over four months until our wedding. Um, so we want to go ahead and get on the right track. So I'm going to start making recipes and stuff and I'm going to share with you guys if there are anything specific you guys want to see just let me know. Yeah so I look forward to seeing you guys over this next year and don't forget to subscribe, comment anything you guys might want to see. I filmed a couple recipes, so I'll go ahead and go ahead and play those for you guys. I hope you like them. If you guys are interested, go ahead and just keep on watching. Stress me out. Do I look good? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome back. I don't know what to do with my hair. Today we are going to make some low carb sausage biscuits and an easy, fast, low carb lunch. I got this recipe from Keto Connect here on, I think they have a, they for sure have a YouTube channel and they're also on Facebook. Um, so if you wanna see how I made them, just go ahead and keep on watching. So first things first, you need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And I am following a recipe I tried one time not to follow it and it didn't turn out as well. So what you're gonna need is almond flour, eggs, cream cheese, I just use the Stater Brothers brand, a lot of mozzarella cheese, turkey sausage patties, wax paper, and some nonstick spray. Now we're going to use our combined couple of ingredients and heat them up in the microwave to get all melty. So we're going to use one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese. And I've tried to do like double the batch to make more and it didn't work out so well. So I just do it, like I'll make the batch again. One and a half. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Next thing is cream cheese. You need one ounce of cream cheese. About one ounce. And then we're going to pop this in the microwave till it gets all melty. Seconds. So it's not going to be fully melted yet. You'll want to stir it up a little bit. You can see it's starting to melt, and then we're going to put it back in. And this is going to be our dough for our biscuits. See, now it's starting to get more melty. Stir it up. And it smells so good. Three, four, six almond flour. And I use Bob's Red Nail. You can get it at Stata Brothers. Into the bowl. And it says you want to um, add this first, add like a barrier so your cheese doesn't cook your egg. One egg. the rest of it together with my hand to get it better even mixture. Now we're going to get our parchment paper, get this stuff out of the way. And I'm going to wet my hands so that the dough doesn't stick to me. And if you need to, you can pop it in the microwave again for another 30 seconds if it's not combining well. Combined, it is sticky, so definitely wet your hands before. It'll help a lot. Now we have our little dough mixture. Now I'm just going to separate it. I think this one makes three. Okay, so I'm just going to make it into a nice little ball. 
and then we're just going to smush it out so that we have a spot to set our sausage bits or our sausage patty in there and fold it up around it. Now we'll get our sausage patties. You're just going to put it right in the middle. And now I'm going to wet my hands again. And just pick it up off the parchment paper. It's around, but I think it's easier to put it right here. And then you just kind of fold the edges until it makes a little biscuit. You just pat all around so you can close all the edges up. And there's your biscuit. We'll go ahead and do this for the other two, and then I'm going to make another batch and do the exact same thing. And then we're going to pop them in the oven for at least 20 minutes. We'll check on them once they start getting golden brown, and then they'll be done. All right, we're back with our six sausage biscuits done now, so we're going to go ahead and pop them in the oven for around 15 to 20 minutes, or when they're golden brown, and then we'll go check on them. All right, while we're waiting for the sausage biscuits to cook, I'm gonna go ahead and make a super easy, low carb lunch. We were supposed to make cauliflower fried rice with pork, pork in it, but somebody apparently doesn't like it. I think it's delicious, but if you guys wanna see me make that and see how it's done, it's super easy, just let me know and I'll go ahead and film that video. Um, so for today, all we have is pretty much two ingredients, three if you want. It's just gonna be ground turkey, black beans and then I like to put salsa on mine um, so I like to put hot sauce on his. We're just going to do, we're going to put this on to medium high heat. Um, this is a two pound ground turkey. So go ahead and slice it open. Oh, I love I do need another ingredient to seasoning. I'll show you guys what I use in a second. Go ahead and plop that in there. It's really appetizing, I know. So I just use these seasonings. I always have a bunch of them. Super easy if you want. You can season it yourself. You could use like the salt-free seasoning. I mean, there's just a couple grams that do those. But we'll just drink lots of water. It's fine. Um, and this is really good and really easy. So we're just going to go ahead and... Get this all ground up. And we'll just cook this until it's all the way cooked through. And then I'll show you when I put the seasoning in it. Okay, so now that our ground turkey is done cooking, we are just going to go ahead and drink it. That's okay if you don't get it all. You just use that to um, have the, the seasoning. Pour yourself all in. I didn't make them. I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add our seasoning. If you add enough, it, too, it just tastes the same as ground beef first. I should have used a bigger pot or pan. It's filling it everywhere. I will normally go ahead and just grab handy dandy measuring shot glass. And then just add a little bit of water just to dissolve the seasoning a little bit. We'll go ahead and just leave that there and let it cool down before we put it in um, a Tupperware for her to take lunch and for Brian to take for lunch for tomorrow. Um, we'll just go ahead and put it in, we'll put some black beans on there, and then I'll do the salsa on mine. Kyle just wants it by itself before I just put regular hot sauce on it. And we're just waiting for the sausage biscuits to be done, and I'll show you both when they're done. Alright, looks like our sausage biscuits are done. Let's check on them. Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and take those out. Oh, the struggle of one hand. Alright, we'll put them right here so we don't melt the oven knobs. Good idea. Mmm. They smell so good. Might have cooked them a little bit too much, but they'll still be really good. And there you guys have it. Two super easy low-carb meals. I hope you guys enjoy them. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.